It's the KayaCast XL. Let's give it a review. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, it's been nearly three years since I demonstrated and reviewed the KayaCast vacuum casting machine produced by RB Machine Manufacturing in the USA, and you've seen me use it dozens of times since then. It's a workhorse, a truly solid integrated casting system designed to vacuum cast resin or wax patterns. And despite its heavy use, it's still going strong and still doing an amazing job. I loved it then and I love it now and it's hard to imagine how it could be improved upon. And yet, I'll be believed that they have. And they kindly sent me this beast to review. This is the KayaCast XL, and as the name suggests, it's an altogether bigger machine. Whilst it's just a tad longer, it's much taller and much deeper. And with increased size, of course, comes increased cost, nearly double in fact. The question is, does this mean increased performance? As with the original, the XL kit comes with a vacuum machine, a bell jar, vacuum table with a rubber pad, pump oil, gaskets, adapter plates, and two perforated flasks with sprue bases. And there's also some very sturdy tongs. The XL is every bit as well made as its smaller brother. The evidence of solid engineering is still present with solid metal and bolts. It's heavy and it's industrial, designed to withstand the burdens of extreme temperatures. The switches and gauges have moved to a more user-friendly and practical position, though they remain every bit as positive with that never wear out feel. Surprisingly, the investment chamber appears to be the same size. Thanks to these thick, solid metal adapter plates and gaskets, it always has been possible to swap and change, allowing for perforated flasks of different sizes to be successfully vacuumed, as well as solid flasks, of course. Unfortunately, however, the bell jar on the original couldn't cope with the height of some of these flasks but the investment table on the XL is much larger, and that's to hold a taller and wider bell jar. Here's the one from the original Kaya cast, and here's the one from the XL. That's why Arby have been able to include a taller perforated flask, because the investment table can now cope as well as the investment chamber, a major bonus for the XL. Arby supply the unit with two bottles of pump oil, and you'll need both of them for the XL. What I really like is the fact that the oil gauge has been moved from the side to the front, again in a much more user-friendly position. And you can really tell that Arby have put a lot of thought into usability with the XL. There are two inline air filters, one for the investment table and one for the investment chamber. These have been strategically placed on the front of the unit to assist with routine maintenance. But the real secret behind the Kaya XL can't be seen, as it's hidden within the solid metal housing. And that is the vacuum pump itself, which apparently is more powerful than others on the market. The pump on the original is capable of pulling 3 cubic feet per minute. The pump on the XL pulls an amazing 8 cubic feet per minute, which is almost three times more powerful. To demonstrate this, I took the bell jar from the original Kaya and placed it on both units, timing how long it took to reach full vacuum. The results were astonishing. Pulling the exact same amount of air, the XL manages just 12 seconds, and the original nearer 30 seconds. When you're against the clock with investment, or if you're carefully watching the temperatures of molten metals, this time factor can make a massive difference. 
So let's see it in use. Regulars will have seen this design before. It's not mine, it's a reproduction of the Nordic Shield from the game Skyrim. Though I have made it into a pendant and placed it on my Etsy store for sale nice and cheaply. I printed it using the Anycubic D2 with Soriatek cast resin. And I think it looks pretty good. And just to prove that the Kaya cast can cope with the small as well as the big, I'll be using this tiny dental flask. Part of me expects this powerful beast to pull this flask apart. Investment powder is mixed in the usual way and placed on the table. The vacuum control lever is turned to investment table and the pump is turned on. Within seconds, the plaster rises inside the bowl and trapped air is released. The springs at each corner of the table help shake things up even further. The control lever is turned to vacuum release and the pump is turned off. Now it's time to vacuum the flask, removing any air and making sure that the investment gets into every nook and cranny. This is the appropriate setup for a solid flask. The vacuum control lever is turned to casting chamber and the pump is turned on. Immediately the strong vacuum grips the flask and starts pulling through the porous plaster. I usually wait 10 seconds or so before releasing the vacuum. Once the metal has ceased glowing, the flask is removed and quenched. Well, that's not too bad, especially for an amateur like me. So what do I think of the KaiCast XL vacuum system? Well, let's be fair, I'm a bit biased. I loved the original KaiCast because of its incredible build quality. And the XL is more of the same. Big, strong, sturdy, and oozing a sense of durability. But if you're going to force me to find faults, I can only be stupidly picky. Like, this gauge is a little crooked. So is this air filter. And this inspection hole isn't quite ideally aligned. But who cares? That's really petty stuff. What matters is the overall sense of quality that you get with this machine the flexibility of options that these adapter plates and gaskets give us, and most importantly, the stonking power associated with this vacuum pump. When I got this machine, I said to myself, it's too big, so what if it's more powerful? I don't need it. The original machine is good enough for my needs. This machine belongs to professionals. Well... I guess that's still technically true. But the problem is every time I've used it, it's impressed me more and more. It's just so fast. Everything is effortless and amateur or not, I'm besotted with it. Would I persuade every amateur or enthusiast to buy the XL? No, I wouldn't because I never spend anyone's money for them. They'd be happy with the original KayaCast, I'm sure of that. But with that said, if they did take the plunge, as I suspect most professionals will, they won't be happy with it, they'll be delighted. There are cheap knockoffs out there, even companies copying the colours and styling of the RB manufactured unit. And these cheap knockoffs may work for a while. But personally, I believe that quality counts. And here, with the Arbikaya Cast XL, quality comes by the bucket full. You just get that sense that it's going to last forever. 
So there you go, guys. A great tool just got better. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Take care and thanks for watching.